When people ask what Missouri State does to implement its public affairs mission and how we take the commitment to civic engagement and bring it into the classroom, this is one thing that we can point to and I think rather proudly. It's a book, Edgar Allan Poe, A Guide for Readers Young and Old, and it was written this past semester, fall 2012 semester, by a literature class uh, in the Department of English and illustrated by a first year art and design class. Uh, our students were very pleased to be able to make a real contribution to this literacy outreach. This book was funded by uh, the National Endowment for the Arts. So if you ever wonder what the NEA does of benefit to literacy at Springfield, remember uh, this book that I'm holding in my hands, and then I hope that many of you seeing this podcast will hold in your hands. Uh, this book is an example of how the arts have real importance to our community contributing to literacy. Our aim in publishing this book was to create a text that we could bring to the public schools, uh, that we could give as, as gifts, prizes, uh, through, the, through the libraries, and uh, to target in particular um, at-risk students, individuals, many in Springfield, uh, many children in Springfield, uh, don't own books. We in college, uh, we have had the honor to be involved uh, in college and uh, in education, take books for granted, and there are individuals within our community who could never do that because uh, for various reasons, primarily economic, they might own one or two or none. And so we created this book as a literacy outreach uh, in order to bring Edgar Allan Poe, certainly one of America's most famous uh, authors, uh, to uh, children. Of course, it says it's a guide for young and old, so there are some chapters for middle schoolers, and there are some chapters for middle schoolers' parents and for their teachers, so everybody gets a little piece of this book. And I'm pleased to say that the foreword was written by David L. Harrison. If you don't know who David L. Harrison is, let me say he is easily Springfield's most published author. He has published close to 100 books. He has sold 15 million copies of those books and we in English consider him to be a friend of the department and the forward by him makes this worth makes this worth more than the sum of its individual parts so if you would like to obtain a copy of uh, this book I would suggest that you go to one of the public libraries or go to Paul Prince bookstore on the university campus they are the exclusive purveyors of this book and we, are, we have a sale price, $5. How can you beat that? And it's all for a good cause, literacy.